y'all wanna update on my BBL? Hey guys, it's your girl, his girl, that girl, Kekiana, period. I just got off work. It's four in the morning right didn't eat no nothing i'm here recording with y'all for y'all you know what i'm saying you know so i'm here because y'all want to update on my bbl don't i don't even work there so it doesn't matter yeah y'all want to update on my bbl so I'm here to give it to you. I still got my bottle girl uniform on. Let just walk in the door. Yes, this has been requested. So, I gotta give it to y'all. This is just questions. I did a poll. This is a girl from back home. She sent me some questions. I put on Instagram, Facebook, all the questions, whatever. These are questions that people want to know. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I got my BBL in March, no, September 8th, 2021 in Miami by Dr. Fisher, Jonathan Fisher at Unique Plastic Surgery. You know what I'm saying? In Miami, again. Um, I'm not... I don't know. I'm not, I guess I'm not recommending him to y'all or anything. I guess y'all do your own research. He was really good, but he was really good. Ain't nothing, whatever. Um, <clears throat> but I guess, I don't know. I'm not telling y'all to get it. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not telling y'all to get it. So I got my iPad and let's see. I don't even know most of these questions. <clears throat> That's not most of these. That's 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 not that's not. Um, well, most of these questions I have vlogs about it, so y'all could check the vlogs down below. I vlogged prior to the surgery. I vlogged like the blood work and stuff I had to get done for the surgery. I vlogged the day before the surgery. I vlogged the day of the surgery. I vlogged the days after the surgery. I vlogged that whole thing. I just haven't done an update. So I am September 2000s, almost two years post op, almost June. Damn, y'all gonna have me thinking. Okay, so September 21st, so I mean September 2021 to September 2022. So September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. So I am a year and nine months post op. You know what I'm saying? And again, these are going to answer all the questions. So I'm going to just rile it all up. Um, I was 200 pounds when I called them in September of 2020. And they said, Shorty, you got to get down. Your BMI has to be, um, they said my BMI has to be, under 31 or 32? 31, 32. 31, 32. Hold on. Your BMI had to be 32. BMI had to be 32. And I was so okay, so this time I called him like yeah. Screw screw bop bop. And I was in between. <laughs> I was in between. First of all, I've seen a couple girls on here get surgery from this doctor. Like Glimmer's Ante, Aaliyah's face, like um J J Majid, J La Majid or something like that. Which before she had a baby. I seen them girls get it. I was like, okay, yeah. Well, first of all, I like Aaliyah's face. So when I see her get, I was like, alright, bet. Then I seen Glimmer's Ante get, I was like, alright, bet. Them my girls. Then I seen Jayla Majid get it. Like, and she was really small. So I was like, alright, bet. Okay, period. And then I was in between him, and then I seen Kyra 
get um go to doctor the the doctor that she went to so when she went to him i was like hold up wait a minute but with him he needed you to um they to even to for them to even call you, you had to send pictures and he was ten thousand dollars and i was like hmm it's not the ten thousand dollars just the fact that if i send you pictures boo you gonna know that I'm overweight, bruh. And you gonna be like, no. So I was like, I'm gonna continue with my doctor that I've been looking for. He ain't had, never had no problems, no issues, nothing, no complications, no nothing that I heard of. So y'all do y'all research on whatever doctor. And again, he was in the United States, okay? So, um, yeah, so I called him like, yo, what's up? I need surgery. And they was like, okay, bet. Well, this is not how it went, but y'all know. And he was like, well, not him, but I was talking to the people. And she was like, oh, um, how much you weigh? Your height and weight? I was like, 5'2", 195. And she was like, all right, bet. Um, we going to schedule your surgery for September 16th of next year, which would be September 2021. And she was like, all you got to do is lose weight and get down to the, um, 32 BMI. Okay, back to my little calculations. Well, on that keto diet, lost all the weight, all the weight, all the weight. I lost the weight in the first couple months, like, but they didn't have an opening. They He was booked up for a whole year, so that's why I called in September of one year, and my surgery was in September of the next year, which is 2021. But, okay, that's what happened. That's, that's what happened to me calling. Um, uh, did he require a certain BMI? 32. But if you go out of, out of the country, some doctors don't care, but if you are overweight, um, you have a higher chance, a higher risk of compl compilations, compli complications, complications, <laughs> of complications. So I lost weight. I went from 195 to one. When I got into the surgery room the day before pre-op, I was, but they, um, I was 166. When they checked up on me again, and like a couple months later, I was 174. So she's like, all right, bet you, you can't, she was like, your BMI is 31.6. Don't gain no more weight because you're not going to be able to get the surgery because the limit is 32. I was like, okay, bet. Still lost the weight. Bam, lost 10 more pounds, 166. Boop. So I lost. A total of I went from 195. I really I'm, I'm lying. I was not 195. I was 206. Yeah. So I lost 40 pounds to get the surgery. Bet. Um. How long did it plan? How long did you plan or save money for surgery? Um. This was during COVID. So I was I worked at a place where like. It was 24 hour care and they bumped our pay up. So I was making $18 an hour and then I was working 120 hours a week because nobody else wanted to work. So I was there. I woke up there, I went to sleep there. I, yeah, I was there at work. So y'all can do the math. I was making money throughout the whole year, like from the start to the finish. So that's why I even called them. <clears throat> but I didn't want to pay the money up front, which I should have done. But um, I was paying five hundred a month, so he was eight thousand. Then he was eight thousand. I think he's like ninety five hundred now or something like that. But then he was eight thousand for just the BBL and um, Life of Three Sixty and the BBL. He was eight bands, and I um. So it only took me. It only took me. Sixty months. Yeah, it only took me a couple months to um get it done. So I didn't save up for it. I was just, well, I I had money. I was saving money, but I didn't use my savings to pay for it. I used the money that I was making every month from when I called them to the day to get it, basically, the day of to get it. Um, and um, I didn't plan for this BBL. Like, ever since I was 15, like, I was like, I was in middle school, like, Nicki Minaj and I was coming out, but I was like, and I was like, um, I need an ass. 
Y'all seen what my butt look like. Look, go look at the old pictures, the old video. I had nothing. I like nothing. Like some girls have something. I had nothing. And I'm shaving like a, a box for real. So I um I was like when I was younger, I was like, only if they can take my fat from my stomach and put it in my butt. Only if they take my fat from my stomach and put it in my butt. But back then no BBLs was out. Nobody had no BBLs when I was saying that. Then Missy started coming out with the BBLs and I was like, wait, wait, hold on. You could take the fat from here and put it there. That's what I need because I didn't want no butt shots or it's not that serious. I didn't want that. But, um, um, yes, uh, they give you a payment plan. You either can do like, you could do like a care credit, like a credit card, like a credit card and pay. Take, basically take a loan out from a credit, medical, whatever. And, um, so you could pay it, either you pay it off, um, use like a, a medical credit card type thing and pay the medical people back the credit card back but i ain't my credit is not that good and all that stuff so i ain't do that i just did the payment plan with them but all you needed to do was um i i had to make just make sure um it wasn't like if i was late this month and none of that they didn't it was none of that i had to have at least half of it paid off i think five months prior to surgery and then all of it paid off um, a month prior to the surgery. Yeah, I could be wrong, but that's, I, I think that is, I think that is it. Does he offer discounts for referrals to his office? I have no clue. I doubt he offered discounts. I'm not a, I'm not a big YouTuber. So I doubt he even will remember me for real. Um, yeah. I was, at the time, I think I was the 6,998 patient or something like that, or 99, because the girl that I met, um, she, the same time I was in Miami, she was walking in and she was 7,000. She was missed 7,000, so they did the whole shebang, the balloons and all that stuff. Um, was I scared? Hell No. I don't know. I just it's just something that I waited for. So I was not scared at all. I wasn't scared of not waking up. I wasn't scared of like not liking it. I was only scared that my body was so bad, bad prior to like I wasn't gonna get no ass real. That's the only thing I was nervous about. Um and also he doesn't do like um wish pictures type stuff like you can give them you can show it to him and all that stuff but everybody's body is different so he just tell them like basically tell them like how much you want or what you looking to get and show them your body and then he's gonna base it off of his like your your body um you can show him wish pictures but you're not gonna get the same exact body as somebody else basically what i'm saying um how did your family react to you wanting to get surgery um, <clears throat> excuse me. I always talk about an ass. Like my family is not like they don't be on my back. They don't. I always. I'm always doing random stuff. Like I up and moved to Atlanta. Like, yeah. They don't be on my back. I, my daddy's not here. And then my mama. She um. My daddy and my daddy side. I ain't. My daddy passed away. But my daddy side. I ain't tell. I ain't tell them shit because they don't even know nothing. Um. My mama side. They thought I was joking or whatever because I've always talked about it, but now I had the money to do it. Like, I told my mama September of 2020 when I called them, like, yeah, I'm going to need you to go to Miami with me next year because blah, blah, blah. She ain't believe me up until, like, three weeks prior to. And I was like, um, I paid for your ticket. You coming, right? And she was like, where I'm going? And she was joking. She a nurse, so she knows she had to come. Um, oh, and how they act when you actually got it. When I actually, when I went down there, of course, my grandma um, prayed for me and stuff like that. Um, my sisters, my one of my sisters wanted to get one. Um, my other sister was just like, do it. Like, my whole body changed drastically because I've always been bigger my whole life. Like, so I went from 200 pounds to 160. So I was really skinny. And then, bam, an ass. So it was just like, eh. 
But my family ain't say nothing. They was just joking, like, girl, you can't even sit down type stuff. But they don't even care. Like, now, they don't, they don't even, it's just, like, a part of me. Like, they don't think of, they don't look at my butt. Like, they just know I got my butt done, but they don't, like, look at my butt. But they didn't, whatever. They were just shocked, like, the difference. Because they knew I was, like, washboard street. And I came back with a little something. You know what I'm saying? Um, what kind of tests did you have to do before surgery? I had to do a COVID test. Um, no, listen. I had to get my blood work done. Um, I had to, you had to, you had to do a whole panel. and then send it to them. And then if your numbers look good and your numbers look all right, they'll tell you, okay, you're clear for surgery. Cause you have to do that a month prior to the surgery. That's that's how you for sure um, um, get your slot, like the surgery slot, like filled, whatever. So a month prior to surgery, they send you, they send all the blood work that you have to get done over. So like the, like your whole blood panel, like, um, your, you know, white blood cells, red blood cells, your counts, your iron levels, like stuff like that. HIV tests, like all that. You had to get that done. Um, I personally had low iron. So when she sent it, when I sent it to her, she was like, just get your iron up, blah, blah, blah. And then I had to go retest and then show her that my iron was good or whatever. A week later. And, um, height and weight, that too. Um... I had since I had COVID, I caught COVID the end of 2020. Um, I had to get an X-ray of my chest. Um, if you don't got COVID or you don't have lung lung problems or anything like that, you wouldn't have to get an X-ray. Um, but since I had COVID, they wanted to check out my lungs, or whatever. So I had to get that. And then um, pre-op day, they take a pregnancy test. So yeah, um, yeah. Um, how long I had to stay in Miami? Well. All these doctors is different. Like I heard stories where people are going, like are leaving Miami or whatever to get it from, and getting on the plane with the tubes and your, uh, the the drain in your stomach still. Like no, my doctor was like no. Your doctor Fisher was like no, not happening. So I went pre-op day. Um, they did my height, my weight, all this. The pregnancy. I mean, um, I mean they did my height, my weight, all this. The whatever to check and then the day of that's when they took the pregnancy test then i got the surgery then i woke up and then the next day the post out day one i went but there i got my surgeries whatever still had the tube in they was doing the massages lymphatic drainage and all that they had to do that and then um i had this i stayed i was planning on staying for a week but my cousin ended up passing away while i was there so I stayed for about five, four to five days, I think. And um, well, I vlogged all of that. You guys can see if you want. But I vlogged all of that. I stayed about four to five um, days and my cousin passed away. So I ended up going home, but, excuse me. But on the, I think the fifth day he took my drainage out cause I wasn't leaving. He wouldn't let me leave Miami like with that drain still in. Like, that's not happening because um, the nurse had to take it out. like. I wouldn't been able to take it out like it was stitched in like to hold it together in there whatever but that oh okay um yeah so I was planning on staying a week but I stayed for five days he he encouraged you to stay for the week but five days was good like it was cool he was cool with that whatever and um When did I return back to work? I really dead ass for real ain't have a job for real. So I'm gonna just be honest. I ended up leaving that job, the one that was making me all the money, um, when the COVID pit ended. I was like, yeah, no, no, I'm leaving. It's, it's gone, it's bye, bye. So I ended up getting another job. I vlogged all that too. I ended up getting, it was like a year after. So I ended up getting another job right before I went to um, the surgery. They knew about it. Um, I don't even think I went back to work after I had the surgery. I never, I didn't go back to work. But he says two weeks sitting down. You can't sit on your butt for two weeks. So, yeah. 
but he also says like don't baby it like he my doctor didn't like the like pillow stuff to sit on the pillow because it cuts off your circulation and all that he didn't like that so he was like either you gonna kneel sit down real quick get up like yeah like no and um Do you regret your surgery? No, not at all. Because I had no butt. I had no, like, I'm bigger now. Like, all right, so I gained all my weight back. I'm 195. So basically, I gained all my weight back. And so my butt isn't, this butt isn't the butt that he gave me, if I would say. Because I was smaller. And then it, my ad, as I gained my 40 pounds back, it grew with me. So my butt was not this big. Like, it was not this big. Um, it was a little slump, but it was not It was not this big. It's 40 pounds. It went straight to my, 40 pounds went straight to my face, my neck, and my ass. And my, and my stomach a little big, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, no, I don't regret my surgery at all. I regret gaining this much weight, though. I mean, I'm okay with it, but I should have gained like 20 pounds, not like 40, you know, because I don't want to lose weight again. I don't like that process. So, um, and do you want to get anything else done in the future? If somebody else paying, <laughs> if somebody else paying, but again, I would have to lose weight to get those surgeries. And I, again, again, I said, I don't like losing weight. I don't like the, the keto guy diet was easy, but still I don't like it. Um, I don't like losing weight. Like I would like, I would like to. If I just woke up smaller, I woke up smaller, but that's not how it happens. Um, so and if somebody else paid for it, like I would get my boot. I would, you know, if somebody else is paying it for it, and if it's on somebody else's dime, I'm getting my breast assist done. But it's just, I'll live with them. Like it's not that serious. And then I would do like lipo for real. I wouldn't do another BBL, but I'll do lipo. But what I also would say is, like, um, if I didn't like my BBL, I would definitely get another one. Like, it was not that serious. Like, it wasn't that hard. Like, the process, it was not that difficult. It was, it was not that painful. It was just very, like, maybe like a seven when we first spoke. It's just, like, not your body. And your body's adapting to something new. Even though it was in my body, but it just used to be in my stomach, not my ass. And my ass was hard. I couldn't sit on it. That was annoying. All that, that, that was annoying. And then trying to pee after, I, oh, no. That, it was just annoying. Really, for real. Oh, is that a collarbone? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... So, no, if somebody else is paying for it, I will definitely get it done. If not, I'm okay with my body. Um, do people treat you differently? Hell yes. People treat me so differently now. But, I mean, like, I was only back home for a couple months after I got, no, from, for, so, so I got it done September 2021. So I was, yeah, back home, like, this is not getting BBLs. Like, and if they are, it don't look good. <laughs> I, because they want to go get them cheap ones. I'm not I'm not spending $4,000 to go on in the knife. Like, first of all, I'm in the medical field. So, I know with how much, how little $4,000 is. Like, you can get a CT scan and that bitch costs $4,000. Why would I just go and pay up for my body for $4,000? No. You get what you pay for. But, um... Yes, they do treat me hella differently. But I never really, for real, came to Atlanta with no ass. I was here probably for, like, the weekends with no ass. But now, like, down here, like, it's just so, like, you can't find no good man. Like, they all think that you, like, a, like a freak bit. Like, like, I might be with my man, though, but not with every man. Like, what the heck? Take me out. Go on dates. But I, the way that I look and the way that I gain my weight back and the way that my body looks, people tell me it don't look like I got a BBL. It looks like I just was born like this because everything is thick. Like, 
that's why I say I'm a real thick bitch. You know what I'm saying? Everything is thick. I'm not. I don't look like a BBL girl. Small waist, thick, big butt. Like I don't look like that. So guys that like me like bigger girls. Like, and that's just me. And I'm cool with it because I've been this way. I just ain't have ass. Nah, I got it. So it's cool. But yes, they do treat you differently. Um, I lost the relationship over this. I guess. Maybe no. Maybe it was like a cherry on top because he didn't want me to get it. Um, yeah, so, um, oh, thanks in advance for any more questions. You're welcome, Crystal. Thank you for giving me the, um, idea of doing so, of answering these questions. And somebody asked me, is it soft? It is very soft. <laughs> like, it wasn't soft when it first came out, but it is very soft. Um, let me see anything else. I... So yeah, let me show you my body. Hold on. And I told you I still have my body girl, my body girl uniform. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Again, Dr. Fisher. I got a BBL when I was 166 pounds. Now I'm 195. 30 pounds more. So. Your BBL is not gonna look like my B B my BBL, okay? Hmm. Yeah. So I told you I just got off work, so I got my body ready for mine. So again, I am oh thick, like very thick, like you see it. You got I got a tummy. But what he said about my stomach or whatever, he said that, like, he was like, the best results is for you to get, lose weight after surgery, after I got it. That's what he said. But I am doing the opposite because I lost so much weight. And then, like, my stomach, I had a lot of skin on my stomach after he did the BBL. Like, I lost weight and then he sucked it out. And then he put it. So it was just like my skin. I had extra, like, skin or whatever. So that's why he was like, if you lose more weight, after the surgery, blah, blah, like, it'll look good, whatever. But I ended up gaining more weight. So I got a little tummy, you know what I'm saying? And then, I got a little, I mean, it's still there. I still, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's there. It looks not good in here because it's not showing the, hold on. Don't mind my granny pennies but yeah see the black hides a lot but this is my tummy like i said i gained weight so it's not all him oh wait i'm trying to get i can see that's in the back i mean that's it's a little eight it's an eight it's a little eight this is thick eight if i look at my stomach <laughs> Yeah, but, and then the scar is healed. I had a scar, not right there. That's my birthmark. Um, it's, it's somewhere underneath the butt cheek. Oh, right here. Boop right there. Boop right there. Yeah, and then I have one on my butt, like on the top of my butt. But I, that right there, it's like, it's a dent, like, like I can feel like it's crazy, and then that's a scar right there, that little one, I think right here, that's a scar, and then that's a scar, yeah, and then middle of my back, right there, that's a scar. So yeah. But yeah, see the little, yeah, so, I mean, like I said, I gained weight after, so, what are you supposed to expect? But I'll not just look like a girl that, like, they mama gave them the body. But my thigh, look at my thighs, like, that's why, I, that's why people like, you gotta be BL. Yeah, 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 trying to get my coochie cut, yeah. Yeah, this 
six. Yeah, I still ain't got no damn furniture in here because I got a whole bunch of furniture back at home and I'm not about to rebuy furniture. I'm just wait till I move into another apartment and then save my furniture because I don't like this apartment. Um, but any other questions y'all want, comment it down below. Again, I was 166 pounds when I went into surgery. Well, I was 200. I lost 40 pounds to get the surgery. Then I gained 30 pounds, 40 pounds back. So your BBL ain't going to look like my BBL. The only um, uh, advice that I have for y'all is do your research on the doctor. Do your research on the facility. Do your research on your body. And don't be looking at other other people's results because you're not gonna get that just being honest you ain't gonna get it and then um wear your faha because i did not wear no faha for real it was crazy after my surgery like my life was just went completely down so it was just not because of my surgery it's just a lot was happening and i couldn't focus on recovering let me put it like that so yeah this is an investment your body's an investment whatever you do to it don't do to it go to it the gym pay for it cut it out suck it out whatever try to keep the results because you worked hard to get it or you paid money a lot you paid a lot of money to get it you know what i'm saying i am a walking fucking car you know what i'm saying yeah and it's hot as fuck in here. But thank you guys for watching. It's your girl. Oh, wait. Like, comment, share, subscribe. <laughs> it's your girl, his girl, that girl. Kekiana. Oh, yeah, my life changed. I am fucking Kekiana now, baby. Yeah. Kekiana. Because the cakes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>